Hollywood Heat update. There isn't really too much to update because I am still waiting on parts from Federal Express to work on the drop targets. I do have one bank off, which is sitting right there. I did take apart the flippers and I have parts ordered to rebuild the top two flippers and the lower two flippers, which are all in a box right there, all the pieces. Uh, but yeah, I did get all the lights done except for everything in this little area right here because when I take that out, I can redo them. And actually I have another box from FedEx that I'm waiting for parts too. No, not FedEx, um, UPS. So, otherwise that's it really. No big updates for Hollywood Heat. But I did do... I did make the ground mod look nice and pretty here. Each one of these boards has a ground wire coming off of it. Here's one. There's one. There's one, there's one underneath that board, and there's also one underneath that board, along with this board's got a ground mod on it too. Anyways, um, worst thing about these older Gottlieb games was bad grounds. So all these boards have a main ground wire coming off and going to here, and this main ground is this red wire here, which goes to this main ground, which now goes down through there and through the whole machine. Normally they were grounded through the wiring harness, which was not good. Other companies would ground this big whole back box area, and then there would be a nice ground braid. Uh, Gottlieb did the opposite. They grounded through the harness. So that made a lot of goofy issues with the way they ran. So now we got a main ground there, which grounds every single board to here. And then that goes to this main strap, which goes throughout the whole game now. So the game has a good solid ground system on it, which is good. But yeah, FedEx and uh, USPS Give me my parts, please. Thumbs up.